create Salesforce record from Webhook response automatically. So in this video, I'll show you how with the help of Webhook URL, you can connect to different applications with Salesforce and automatically create contact or records. But the condition here is your application should support Webhook. So what we will do, we will copy the Webhook URL in that application and assume that the application is a form builder application. So as soon as a new form submission is received, firstly that submissions will be received as a Webhook response here and once finally Finally, we have those submission as a responses we can send that form submission to different application or to Salesforce application and automatically create record in Salesforce want to learn how you can also automate this process then come with me and I will show you everything step by step so this is my Salesforce application which I am going to connect with JotForm Form Builder application because JotForm support Webhook and for Webhook I will use Pabli Connect which is an integration and automation software. Okay, I am an existing user so I am already logged in. You can also create your free account in Pabli Connect in just 2 minutes from the sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free tasks to test these kind of amazing automation. Okay, so once you will log in and reach out to the dashboard of Pabli Connect Connect. firstly click on this view button that is create workflow and then provide a random name to your workflow to your automation okay so I have directly pasted the name as create Salesforce record from webhook response okay now simply click on create and after that you will find two boxes so these boxes are actually called as trigger and action window okay and here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this so when something happen in the first application then automatically do this in the next application okay so generally we need to select the application in this trigger and the action window in which we are building an automation okay but currently according to our use case instead of selecting any application here i will select this webhook okay and here you will notice we will receive our webhook url which we are going to paste in our job form application and this is how the form submissions will be received via public connect which we can easily send it to different application or to salesforce application okay so i have selected both the things in this trigger and the action window okay but before i proceed with this webhook url let me tell you a very important thing that jotform already have a direct integration with the pabli connect yes you can connect jotform with the pabli connect by searching jotform here directly but i'm taking the example of jotform in this particular video because jotform support webhook okay my intention is just to show you how webhooks can be used and how with the help of webhook you can connect to different application with the public connect and once you have the data of those application you can send that data again to different application like salesforce okay so again i will search for webhook here okay let me delete this and searching for webhooks okay so i have selected the same and it has provided me a webhook url so i will copy this webhook url and paste it in that application whose data I would like to collect in Pabli Connect okay and generally we use webhook when we do not have an active integration a direct integration with the Pabli Connect okay so assume that you want to connect an application which is not a part of Pabli Connect's integration library in that case if your application support webhook you can connect it to with the Pabli Connect with the help of this webhook URL you just need to select webhook here copy that url and paste it into your favorite application okay so here i am taking the example of job form here you can notice i have three forms that is contact form job application form and inquiry form okay so how about i edit this particular form basically assume that i want to add the contact from this particular form only okay so firstly you will have to click on the setting section and search for the integration from this left hand sidebar and then search for the webhook option okay so so basically you will always have to look for webhook option only in which you would like to connect with the public connect okay so here you can notice an existing integration is available which i am going to remove because i would like to show you everything from scratch okay so i will search for webhook once again and here i will paste that webhook url which we have received via public connect clicking on this complete integration button and this is how the connection in jot form and public connect will be done 
डन विद द हेल्प ऑफ वेबो क्यू आर एल ओके सो कमिंग बैक टू पब्लिक कनेक्टेड डैशबोर्ड एंड हेयर यू कैन रीड द इंस्ट्रक्शन दीज इंस्ट्रक्शन एज वेल एज दिस नोट एंड इट इज एक्चुअली वेटिंग फॉर द वेबो रिस्पॉन्स सो नाउ लॉग इन टू द एप्लीकेशन वे यू हैव एडेड द वेबो क्यू आर एल एंड डू अ टेस्ट सबमिशन रिकॉर्ड सो दैट द डेटा कैन बी रिकॉर्डेड हेयर इन द वेबो रिस्पॉन्स ओके सो बेसिकली इट इज आस्किंग टू डू अ टेस्ट सबमिशन और रिकॉर्ड एंड हेयर द टेस्ट सबमिशन मीन्स न्यू सबमिशन न्यू फॉर्म सबमिशन इन जॉट फॉर्म ओके सो आई विल फर्स्टली पब्लिश दिस फॉर्म वेल दिस फॉर्म इज ऑलरेडी पब्लिश एंड विल ओपन दिस फॉर्म इन टू अ न्यू टैब एंड देन आई विल मेक अ डमी सबमिशन इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू एंड यू विल नोटिस दैट हाउ दैट फॉर्म सबमिशन विल बी रिसीव्ड वाई आर पब्लिक कनेक्ट ओके सो गिव मी अ सेकेंड एंड लेट मी फिल द डिटेल्स हेयर so i have provided the first name as demo the last name as user the phone number as this a dummy phone number email address as demo user at familytudes.com number of days to travel is 3 okay well this is just a basic inquiry form for traveling and i would like to add this form submission data to salesforce okay so coming back to this form let me submit this form and you will notice that as soon as this form submission is made the detail of that form will be received as a webbook response Response and here you can notice the response is received. Now I will show you the details one by one. Okay, so here we have the same webbook URL which we have pasted in Jot form. Here we have the form title that is inquiry form for traveling. Here we have other details like the name of the person, the last name. Here we have the country code, the phone number, the email address, and even that information. Okay, remember we have selected the number of days as three. Okay, so the presence of this date. data clearly shows that the connection in jot form and public connect is working absolutely fine and it was possible with the help of this webook url only okay so in this way with the help of this url you can connect a different application with public connect and capture the responses of that application here in the dashboard okay but again the condition here is your application should support webook okay so the first step of our automation is done and now moving further i will send these form responses to salesforce okay so my topic was to create a record and here as a record i will create a contact in salesforce okay so just like we have connected jot form and pabli connect now i will connect salesforce and pabli connect okay so simply click on this add a new connection click on this button that is connect with salesforce and then you will have to provide the access of your salesforce account okay but because i am already logged in in my salesforce account so instead of asking me for the access it is asking me for the permission so i have clicked on allow so this is how the authorization will be successful and salesforce will be connected with the public connect immediately okay so here you can notice it is connected okay and because we are connected whatever the objects are available in my salesforce have started visible here in the drop down okay so which object we would like to perform here basically we would like to create a contact okay so let me search for the same that is contact okay so here you can notice i have selected the same and again it will ask you lot of other details which are actually required for creating a contact into salesforce okay so i will provide the details like the first name last name okay and now you tell me from where i will provide the details remember we have already captured the data from our webbook response okay so the interesting thing here is i'm not going to manually copy these details and paste it here again and again i am going to map these details okay and mapping is very simple inside public connect click on this field and you will find the above data the same data here in the drop down now search for your data like the last name okay so i have mapped it successfully okay in the same way i am going to map other information also okay so let me do the same one by one now you must be thinking that what is this mapping uh, which i am repeating again and again okay so whatever the details i will map here these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time or in next time okay so that is why mapping plays a major role inside this automation and this is how with the help of mapping this automation will take place okay so i have mapped this phone number also let me also this last important details that is this email address okay so i think i have provided all the important details okay so how about i click on the save and send this request button 
But before that, I will take you to the dashboard of Salesforce. Here you can notice no contacts available right now. Okay. So coming back, clicking on this button, save and send test request, and now waiting for the response. Okay. And if the response is positive here, that means the contact has been created. So here you can notice in the response it is saying success. Okay. So coming back to the dashboard of Salesforce, and I have refreshed it, and I'm really expecting the contact to be created. And here you can notice the same contact. is added here as a record in salesforce okay so let me show you the details one by one here we have the same phone number the same email address the same first name and last name we even have the date of creation okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that our automation is working absolutely fine okay so in this way you can connect two different application with the help of webhook the only condition is your trigger application should the support webhook and if it is supporting webhook with the help of public connect you can connect you can capture that data in the dashboard and then further you can send that data to different application like salesforce okay just in case if you want to access this two step automation inside your public connect account i will also attach the link of my automation into the description box so simply click on this link and then sign up for free into the public connect and then you will be able to access the same workflow inside your own on public connect account that to for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with public connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabi.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of public connect and for the latest updates of public connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video